The Amazon rainforest is filled with many sounds, like birds, cicadas, monkeys, but behind all that, the constant noise of chainsaws. More than 200,000 acres of rainforest are lost every day. That is more than 150 acres lost every minute. The human impact, such as deforestation, habitat loss, and poaching, are detrimental for the Amazon rainforest and soon will be irreversible. Species are becoming extinct 100 times faster than they would without human impact. Here's how we are impacting the Amazon rainforest. According to NASA, in addition to the carbon release associated with deforestation, like the fuel burned by the machines, that if deforestation levels proceed, the remaining world's forests will disappear in about 100 years. Why do people burn and cut down the rainforest? Well, there are a few reasons. One is for agriculture, like growing bananas, rice, oil palms, and soybeans. Another is for cattle. This was one of the causes of the most recent forest fires in 2019 that destroyed over 7,200 square miles. That's roughly the size of New Jersey. Lastly, they log and cut down trees for timber and paper, which is a whole other impact we have on climate change. When you hear the word deforestation, you probably think of logging first, because it is in many movies such as the Lorax. The diversity of trees is crucial in a rainforest. In just a small area, there could be up to 700 different kinds of trees, as many as there are in the whole North America. But this is what we've been turning it into. Deforestation cuts many animals' habitats during the process, like orangutan. Habitat loss ties into deforestation a lot because most animals in the Amazon rainforest live in or on the trees. Habitat loss has been happening for a while now, but it really started to increase from 1991 to 2003, and has been on a slight decline ever since. But since 2015, it's been on an increase again. Big cattle ranch companies are the ones cutting down the trees and not replanting them. Did you know around 17% of the forest has been chopped down in the last 50 years, which is a crazy number when you think about how big it is? Jaguars are the only one of the many animals that are affected by it, not getting the prey they need due to deforestation. It's like a chain reaction. The toucan is another animal that is greatly affected by deforestation. It destroys their natural habitat up in the high canopy, and they also get killed by falling trees due to their lack of flying skills. Spider monkeys are also affected by deforestation because that is where they live. They also get poached for meat, which is used for the illegal pet trade. Also critically endangered, the Peruvian woolly monkeys, heavily hunted, and infants are often favored as pets. This means that they are very wary of people and difficult to track. Limited research has shown a change in the composition of this monkey's diet over time. Previous research had shown that in primary forests, their diet would consist of 80% fruit, whereas in regenerating forests, it would be 50% fruit with a greater amount of leaves and invertebrates. I don't agree how they cut down trees for the sole purpose of money and not replanting them. Animals aren't the only ones losing their habitats. They're also getting poached, which leads us into our next point. Every day, multiple groups of illegal poachers set out to kill jaguars, monkeys, otters, caiman, and more to be turned into coats, hats, or accessories. This is not a recent activity. Since the early 1900s, animals have been killed for their hides. Parrots, macaws, and monkeys have also become popular pets. Buyers will pay up to 10 grand for one bird. Thousands of other North American birds spend their winters in rainforests returning to the same location year after year. Less return home each spring, as few make it through the winter, because their habitat has been destroyed. As stated in the documentary A Life on Our Planet by David Attenberg, orangutans are an easy target for hunters, because they're large and slow targets. They are killed for food or in retaliation, when they move into agricultural areas and destroy crops which occurs when they can't find the food they need in the forest. Amazonia jaguar, giant otter, and eukarya monkey are three of the most endangered species in the Amazon 
and all three are coincidentally some of the most hunted animals. You can see the impact humans have on species in the Amazon. We could put deforestation, habitat loss, and poaching to an end, or at least slow them down if we do some simple things. If we cut down 100 trees and planted 135 trees, or even 150 trees, then it would balance out. This would stop deforestation and help with habitat loss. And we could also stop poaching endangered animals and animals who aren't endangered for their pelt and meat. These are just some ways to put this to an end, but there are tons of ways to put an end to these problems and save the trees and animals, but these are just a few easy ones.